offer. I started like in uh, early 2012, uh, looking into crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Uh, I remember the first uh, time I looked into it was uh, when I was still playing with Second Life. I don't know if you, any of you know it. It was the first approach to Metaverse, I believe, uh, centralized, but uh, that's the idea. And from there, um, I was always into crypto. Uh, I'm a developer of the project. Uh, I've been freelancing uh, um, for all these years uh, in uh, the crypto space and also in Web2 standard development. Uh, and recently, since uh, November, December, we came out with this idea and um, I started developing Arctic uh, for, um, for this project. Um, the reason why we developed Arctic uh, is because we found uh, that the um, crypto space is full of noise, basically. There's a lot of projects out there and um, a lot are not even works to look at, but a lot of them, they, they deserve to be, um, they deserve to shine. So we thought, why don't find uh, a way where people can uh, find new gems, vote for them, and the community is gonna, you know, uh, establish which project is the best and which not. In the team, we are uh, three people for now. I am the developer, then we have uh, a marketing manager and the business manager. We know each other for years, uh, for more than 10 years, basically. Yeah, I was reading the white paper in Arctic, building an ecosystem where investors can suggest, discover, and vote for new high potential projects. And you're going to do it based on a weekly basis. Um, can we go into sort of the details? How you pick the projects? Um, there's a selection process. I think you you're um, going to make sure you know the really good projects for investors. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, uh, one of our biggest passion is actually to um, look into new projects, discover them, scout for new projects. Uh, and uh, what we actually do for Arctic is still this. So we keep looking for nice projects, deserving projects. We also get uh, suggestions from our community. Then we uh, check the contracts, uh, we check the community, we try to understand if they legitimate or not. And uh, once we select a few projects, uh, we start to do some poll on uh, Telegram and see the community of these projects, uh, how strong they are, and also our community, if they like to, to see them on Arctic. When we select one of these projects, uh, then we announce it. Uh, and uh, after a few more uh, testing, uh, we also partner up with a company who can do some audit for us uh, and check if they're legit. We list them uh, on our platform. And once the projects are on our platform, uh, our holders can vote for them. And the one who has the most votes, at the end of the week, our protocol buys its tokens and distributes them to all our holders who have participated to the voting competition. For example, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, last one that we picked was uh, Telos. Uh, I don't know if you know it. Uh, Telos has a great tech. Uh, it's in a film virtual machine. Uh, uh, we might even bridge to them one day. And uh, we we saw it as a lot of potential. It's a really legit project, uh, and it needed to to be more visible, in our opinion. And our community loved it. And how many are you planning to select each week? Will it be like three, five, ten projects? Uh, we are planning to select five projects per week. So it's going to be like uh, from. Monday to Friday selections, uh, and then the weekends we're gonna announce the projects, uh, and the week after we're gonna start the the voting competition for all the projects. Uh, but we don't remove projects from our platform, so they're gonna stay there uh, after every round. So every week uh, we reset the vote, and every project still has another chance to win the competition. Uh, so it, they're just That's gonna grow uh, exponentially. How much are you looking to put in for each project that picks each week? Uh, what do you mean? You're going to just be jet that wins the vote each week. Do you mean uh, how much tokens we're going to buy? Or oh, dollar value, yeah. Well, basically, we have a transaction fee, <clears throat> uh, buy and sell of 10%, and uh, we accumulate 6% of it, uh, swap it in a stable coin in BUSD, and we use this 6% of all the transaction fees to buy the tokens of the project that wins the competition. So it really depends on the volume uh, and uh, how many holders we have uh, for every for every week competition. 
be, and I, I saw in the white paper that you would log in on the website to make the vote weekly for each investor, and then do an airdrop of the tokens um, based on how much you hold. Is it? Yeah, it's based on how much they hold. And uh, <clears throat> so, for example, let's say that um, let's imagine we have accumulated 100k in a week uh, for the airdrop. Uh, uh, if you as an older as, uh, let's say, 1% uh, of all the other holders uh, of, of the balance, uh, then you're going to get 1% of the accumulation treasury at the end of the week uh, in terms of airdrop. Uh, so in the currency of the token uh, that win the competition. Okay, great. And then in quarter three, I think you're planning an Arctic launch, but there's also you're going to build up over the next quarter all these projects um, and partnerships. So you'll have a lot of contacts ready. Um, to launch a long in the future as well. Uh, can you reformulate the question? I really didn't catch it this time. You were uh, really jumping the voice. Yeah. Um, you're planning an, an Arctic launch pad in the quarter three. So you build on that yeah. this, this quarter. You'll have all them um, projects and uh, partnerships sort of in place to, to make a launch pad, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're planning to do that too. Because um, if you think about it, our partnerships are basically the engine, the core of our project. Uh, uh, indeed, uh, their community supports us because they want to support their own project, the project they like. Uh, they're all fun. And um, in time, uh, we're going to grow a big ecosystem uh, with all of these projects uh, that uh, uh, they could transform to um, also Arctic and become a, a launch pad. Uh, they also want to do some a AMA session inside Arctic. Uh, uh, become a kind of hub uh, of really good selected projects, uh, uh, starting now with the BSC and then moving to other chains as well. Okay, awesome. And you can actually support the projects that will need vote as well. People are going to go over into their Telegram and vice versa. You could get new investors way as well, which is a great idea. Yeah, we do. We do. Actually, we reserve a lot uh, of our funds in marketing. Uh, for us and for the other projects. So basically being listed in Arctic means uh, free visibility, like a lot, because we pump them a lot. And also the project that wins the competition, uh, we're gonna buy big bags of their token. So we're also gonna help their price. Okay, great. And are you gonna purchase the tokens all in one go? How will it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of the week, uh, we select the winner uh, and the protocol automatically purchase the tokens of the winner. And whereas uh, before I said there is this 10% uh, buy and sell fee, so 6% is for the airdrop uh, and 2% uh, of it, uh, we reserve it to our marketing wallet. And the other 2%, uh, we, we use it at the end of the week to buy back our token and burn it. So to help also us, our price. I don't know why we have people in every week buy back and burns. Uh, can we go into mm -hmm. the tokenomics of bars and sells for investors and it works? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we reserved the uh, um, ten percent. Uh, uh, first off, there are one billion Arctic capped. That's it. Uh, we reserved ten percent of it for our private sale, uh, which was uh, at the end of February. We filled uh, seventy-two BNB in less than twenty-four hours. And uh, tomorrow, there's going to be our pre-sale, uh, which is 25% of the tokens. Um, initially, we're going to reserve 15% in liquidity. Then 20 goes to team, uh, 25 marketing, and 5 to advisors. And also, we reserve uh, these tokens for team and marketing because we will see maybe later, if we need it, we can in always increase uh, the liquidity of the token. Okay, great. And what's soft cap and hard cap for the pre-sale at Pink Tail tomorrow? Soft cap is going to be 100 BNB and hard cap uh, 200 BNB. Um, we give precedence to whitelisted wallets. Um, so we're going to run the pre-sale for the first two hours. It's going to be just for uh, who is whitelisted. And then it's going to be open to the public. Uh, and then on the great. 3rd of April, so one week after, we are going to release immediately our platform and the token, everything online. The utility itself of the project needs to work from day one. That's why we are collecting all of these partners now. So as soon as we launch, uh, people can already vote for the projects they like, uh, wait one week uh, and get already the airdrop. 
Okay, great. And there's a, still a chance for investors if to join the Telegram to win nightly spots for the tomorrow's pre sale. Yeah, we still have some spots. Um, basically, we run every day giveaways, uh, quizzes, um, especially quizzes on the project. We want people to really know where they're investing in. Uh, and if they answer correctly, then we select some winners every day or on Twitter, uh, helping our community to grow. Uh, but today is the last day, obviously. Yeah, well, I see you've got anti whale features. Um, you've got a maximum and a maximum sell um, per transaction, yeah. Yeah, minimum uh, for pre-sale is um, 0 0.25 BNB and maximum 1.5. The thing is, um, we want to avoid big whales. Uh, we prefer to have many investors in it, uh, especially now. Uh, we also have an anti-way mechanism in the token, uh, so to prevent as much as we can uh, big purchases. Um, for example, a wallet cannot have a transaction that is greater than 0.5% uh, of the liquidity, or a wallet itself cannot have more than 0.5% of liquidity in Arctic tokens. And be upon an NFT series or an NFT marketplace in the future as well? Not the marketplace. The idea is, uh, so now basically Arctic buys the tokens of the best project selected by the community and then drop them to our holders. And in the future, we would like to, to do the same thing, but for NFT. It would be amazing if people can vote for the best projects in NFT projects, uh, and then we can either drop one NF NFT to one winner or use fractionless NFT so the winners, the holders can have a part of, it, of this NFT. So the same concept, but translated on NFTs as well. I see. Um, have you got an order plan before launch or after launch? Uh, like thirty called it. Um, sorry, can you repeat? Plan for You've got like a thirty called it for the contract for Arctic. Um, before or after launch uh, or the audit. The audit, yes, we did uh, an initial audit now with um, Spywolf which at the end, they ended up to be listed on our platform because we ran a poll with them and the community loved it. They, they also have an interesting project. But we're planning to do a uh, further audit, uh, especially with Celtic uh, uh, later in phase uh, three of the project. And with, with all the voting that's going on, uh, you know, you're really involved in the community and if you and a governance token for Arctic and if you're a down. Uh, this is still not planned. Uh, we have a plan for it yet, but um, who knows, maybe in the future. Uh, for now, not. We're not planning for that. And would voting be fairly distributed? Do you have to have any minimum amount of tokens? And uh, if you hold more tokens, does, does that give you, you know, more towards the uh, votes? I can you repeat, please? Your voice again breaking uh, yeah. a lot. Do you need to hold a minimum amount of the Arctic ah, no. tokens? No, 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 no. You don't need to. Uh, the thing is, uh, in order to be eligible for the airdrop, uh, you need to, of course, hold the Arctic uh, and vote at least one project during the weekly competition. We want people to participate, to be engaged in our platform. Uh, you don't have to vote for the winner, uh, but at least vote for one project. Uh, uh, and then at the end of the week, uh, you must also come back to the platform and claim uh, your airdrop. Uh, so in this way, we kind of build the mechanics where people uh, uh, keep coming, uh, check new projects, vote and support them continuously. Yeah, and will you have like, meetings and uh, uh, in the voice chat, you know, about the five projects and all the links to their socials for uh, to make them make a, a decision on who to vote for? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, no, we ran uh, a voting poll uh, on, on Telegram. Uh, it's like uh, the, first, um, the first check to see how the community reacts. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, first we select them. Uh, and then we run the voting, uh, and the one who wins is going to be listed on the platform. Uh, and then we are thinking to do kind of um, AMA battles every week. Uh, so invite all of these projects on our channel, uh, give them uh, 10 minutes uh, to pitch their project, uh, and um, increase, you know, the engagement on all of them, and uh, increase also the visibility. 
That's great. And um, what's the marketing plans going forward after launch? Are you planning a round out to finance product? Well, first of all, as I said before, the involvement of other projects is really our engine. So we will keep uh, finding new projects, involve the community, and this is going to grow exponentially. Um, <clears throat> then we are planning to build uh, um, a video for us. Uh, we are already in contact with some uh, YouTuber. Um, they contacted us uh, to do some reviews. Uh, so we're going to use uh, um, influencers marketing. Uh, we're going to uh, use the communities of other projects as well. Uh, and uh, we're going to keep doing new MAs all the time. Great. Yeah, and I see you, you've got a maximum wallet of 0.5% of the sale, a maximum sell per transaction 0.5%. Yeah, 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 that's the maximum. Of course, uh, people can always create uh, multiple wallets, but that's uh, uh, a way inside the smart contract to kind of avoid the uh, big wallets inside. Is buyback and burns 2% every week? Are you planning a certain amount to lower the tokens, or is it, is it going to be ongoing for months? Uh, this is fixed. Uh, we're not going to change it. So imagine uh, for every transaction, uh, we basically accumulate 8% uh, because we retain two to, to keep the project alive. And then um, we swap it in USD. And then at the end of the week, we use this percentage uh, apart to buy them back and burn and the other one for the airdrops. What sort of level go to 10 to 30% buyback of burns? Sorry? How, how, how much will you actually uh, buy back and burn? Will it be 50% uh, of all the tokens? Or? Uh, well, again, uh, it's 2% of every transaction. Uh, so we uh, we really don't know. For every transaction, uh, that's how we use the fee. 2% we accumulated and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be burned at the end of the week. Uh. It really depends on the um, volume. Yeah, I'll sit on to the rest of the team if there's got a question for the Arctic Finance. Go ahead. Yeah, hey Glenn, I was listening in. It sounds it sounds interesting because uh, uh, what you're saying is basically people will get to vote on what they like and then they'll get some tokens if your project actually does go ahead and invest in that one. So I'm curious uh, first, like how uh, how do you find these projects or what sort of metrics do you look for? Is it are you only focusing on say utility coins or are you focusing on on everything that looks uh, good to you and what sort of what are you looking for? You're looking for a good community a good utility a good team and who is doing who who is doing all this are, are you going to be doing it or all right all right uh well first of all it could be any project uh, from DeFi, metaverse gaming uh, uh really any categories is welcome uh, um we have opened like a, a bounty for gem hunters so also our community can propose us new projects uh, that they find it interesting uh, and why they find it interesting. Actually, inside of our platform, uh, uh, there is also functionality for that. And um, and the other research is going to be done by us. Uh, so we look at interesting projects uh, that I have uh, some requirements. Uh, uh, first off, they should be on CoinMarketCap because we are integrated with CoinMarketCap. On our platform, we show the stats of the tokens and everything. And it's also, it means the project is it's not so young uh, and uh, a bit more legitimate, let's say that. Then the market cap of the project uh, usually should be around uh, at least $200,000. Um, there should be at least 500 holders. Uh, then we run the project through um, platforms like uh, Token Sniffer or, or uh, Stay Safu. And the score should be at least 50%, uh, better if it's higher, obviously. And then we check for the trading volume, uh, we connect with the team, uh, check the community, talk with the team itself and see how we feel them. And then we do, um, we actually check uh, the smart contract personally. So we go through the code, uh, um, check if everything is uh, it's okay, see the history of the project. Uh, and then we just run the poll through our community to see what they think about. 
Right, sounds sounds like you're doing uh, uh, a lot of checks there. So uh, basically, if somebody is l doing a new project or has an ongoing project, how would they get on your polls? Uh, can they get in contact with you or join the community and say, hey, look, this is something interesting. This is, um, uh, uh, how is the sort of the onboarding process to get on that first poll, to give people the access to vote on it and later on to be actually, you know, published for voting on the platform? Yeah, uh, for example, one of the latest projects that uh, is going to be listed, they got in touch with us directly through Telegram, uh, or they can apply directly through our website. At the end of the website, they can just send a request, uh, send and see uh, an email as well, uh, and then we're going to mm, talk to them uh, and see if uh, we can put them on the poll or not. Yeah, I, I, it sounds super good, and yeah, I'm thinking you guys have to be very careful because some people might see that, I don't know, your token is doing a lot of volume and that uh, buy wallet for the end of the week is going to be really big maybe, right? So a buy from you guys could be really significant, so I'm, I'm thinking there's a lot of security that goes on and probably, I don't know, are you going to announce it to the community when you're going to buy it, how are you going to buy it, or is it sort of uh, they'll find out a day after and then they'll get their tokens and sort of keep it under wraps a bit? Now, well, when we buy the token, uh, that obviously the buy it's um, it's automatic. Uh, the protocol just buy the the tokens of the winner. Uh, then we will announce it to the community. But to get your airdrop, uh, you need to manually go inside Arctic and click on claim airdrop. Uh, um, so the community itself can also research uh, and even decide not to take it eventually. Actually, you have one week of time to claim your airdrop. Uh, if you don't do it, you you lose it, and so you need to wait for the next one. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds cool. So the platform is going to have sort of like an individual page for for this for the certain token that was voted and won, and everybody could just go there, and probably there'll be some information and all that, and to claim their tokens, right? The the airdrop ones. Exactly. Actually, unfortunately, I cannot share anything, or I could share. Uh... Um, a screenshot uh, of um, just the main page, the dashboard of our platform, which is ready for uh, more than a month. We, we just keep testing it and, uh, and uh, hacking ourselves. <laughs> is there a way I can post a picture? Um, maybe you can send the DM to Glenn or, or to me or something, and we can ah. post it in the in the main chat since it's locked. I don't know if somebody gave uh, Alex access already, but you can uh, DM the the picture and we can put it in the main chat. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Sounds, it sounds it sounds interesting. So you're pro you're, you're giving people the opportunity not just to hold your token, but actually vote on which token you're gonna support, and then they are gonna get some of those tokens because they got involved with with this one. So it's kind of helping people diversify their portfolio, even if it, it probably not gonna be it's not gonna be like at least at the start. I'm I'm thinking it's not gonna be huge amounts, but as you grow, it can be potentially a, a lot of money involved. So yeah, it's sounds uh, sounds cool yeah actually uh when we when we made up the idea we were thinking uh what's the way uh to make an utility token that people actually don't want to sell and uh and we said uh, well it would be nice to reduce the risk because uh, when you invest in many projects obviously you're exposed to more risk in this case uh, you buy one token uh, and then you get new ones uh, every week uh, and these are the ones that the community decides are the best. Uh, and we all know that if the community decides is the best uh, and behind there is a research who established that the project is great and everything can look into it, uh, there is a high possibility to, um, to find the next gem. Uh, but still, you're risking less because you just buy one uh, and you get free ones uh, every week. Yeah, it's true. You're not you're not exposed. You're not putting any extra money towards that. You're just practically supporting something that you have a good sentiment about. And then at the end of the week, if if it's uh, it was if it was good, you're getting some tokens out of it. So it sounds really interesting. Yeah, I I, I like the the yeah. dashboard too. I just saw the picture. It looks uh, nice and clean, easy to use. I see the vote button there. And um, Thanks. so you mentioned in order to vote, you have to be a holder. So there's probably some checks there, right? Where it checks your wallet to see if you're a holder and uh, then you'll get the, uh, is there like a minimum yeah. amount? Yeah, yeah, actually, 
no, there is no amount. You can hold any any amount of Arctic uh, to vote. Uh, obviously, the more you have, uh, the bigger the airdrop will be. And the smart contracts check uh, that you are in order and that you voted at least one project during uh, each round. Right. So and so, uh, see, yeah. Sorry. So so each uh, each holder gets uh, one vote, right? Or is it I don't know one per day, one per week? When how, how is it? Distributed? Each each holder gets uh, one vote per project. So you cannot vote the same project twice during the same week. You can vote other projects, uh, but the same project only one time. And also, it's completely decentralized. Everything, all the projects are uh, hosted on chain and all the votes. So when you vote, also you have to pay a small gas fee for your vote. We don't use any database here. Everything is on chain. Right, I, I understand, right. And maybe, I don't know, is there is there any ideas of uh, having a certain minimum amount of tokens to vote? Because I'm thinking, what if somebody uh, buys just small, so small amounts of the token and goes ahead and just starts voting for their favorite one, right? So uh, I, I don't know if you have anything set in place or how do you envision to kind of balance that? Um, no, no, we, we didn't think that because um, we want the community to be to be able to, to vote uh, any, any kind of community. We don't want to uh, limit people who don't want to invest uh, a lot. We also want people maybe to give it a try, invest a little bit uh, and try how it is, uh, see if it really works. Uh, um, so no, the, there is no limit on voting. Uh, Okay. Uh, as we like to call it, it's um, a community-driven investment protocol, completely by the community, any kind of community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I understand. It sounds 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 interesting, right? Uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you, thank you for for answering. I see we got some hands there. Yeah, welcome. Can take some more questions. Yeah. Thanks for the questions, Actor. Yeah, we can open it up to investors now. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Cyan, you have a question. Or, uh, right here at Arctic Finance, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, so I was wondering the same thing which Acti mentioned. Uh, so just to be clear, uh, the vote value for all the holders will be same. It uh, won't depend on whether if someone is holding a large amount of Arctic Finance tokens, so their vote value will be more, right? Um, I mean, they will be all equal. The more you hold, and um, the bigger will be your airdrop. Yeah, I got that, but I'm uh, talking about uh, vote value. Uh, vote value for uh, all the no. holders. Vote value are the same. Every holder has the same value. It's always a plus one. It's an up vote. Okay, got it. And uh, will your team be also be participating in the voting process or they won't? Uh, well, uh, for the projects that we like, uh, we might. Why not? Um, Actually, we select them. Uh, it would be nice to have uh, some of their tokens, uh, or they wouldn't be there on the platform. Uh. Okay, got it. Moving to my next question. Uh, so this will uh, this process will be repeated every week. Uh, after one week, uh, the holders will be able to claim the airdrop tokens, right? Yep, yep. And uh, then after uh, next week, uh, next voting will take place for the new project. Exactly, and also one detail. If at the end of the week, uh, the protocol doesn't find uh, only one project with the most votes, let's say there are two projects with the same number of votes, well, in that case, we reset the, the votes and we run uh, another round of voting, but this time is going to last for 24 hours because uh, we just want to select one winner. Okay, got it. It makes sense. Uh, so I also want to know that holders who don't participate in the voting process, uh, will they also be uh, airdropped with these uh, tokens of the winning project or it is necessary to vote, to participate in the vote to be airdropped with these tokens? They will not get any airdrop. Uh, so um, holders must vote to, to get the airdrop. Uh, we want them to contribute and the community must contribute to the voting. Got it. So they must have to vote to be able to, yep. if they forget or uh, mm -hmm. any reason, they won't be able to get those tokens. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. Yep. You so much. You're welcome. All right, let's move on to Venice. You had a question. Uh, Brett, yeah, at Oxy Finance, go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, Glenn. Actually, uh, I do have a few questions to ask from Arctic Finance. 
so my first question is uh, as you also have plans for partnerships with selected projects uh, who can also promote arctic uh, but i want to know do you have any plans to acquire whitelist spots of those projects for your top investors and uh, do you also plan to run the advertisement panels of the high potential projects with which you partnered on your website or social media so investors can benefit from it uh, i didn't get the whitelist part uh, but uh, regarding the advertisement, yes, we, we already do that and we're going to do it even more. Uh, we will run a promotion on every project that is going to be listed on our platform uh, to get uh, much more exposure. Like for example, uh, the current uh, banner we have on Twitter has, uh, I think, almost 2,000 retweets. Uh, so we run it on Twitter and Telegram and everywhere. Marketing for us, for our projects, uh, it's um it's really a big deal actually okay great uh, and uh, for the whitelist spot i was saying that i want to know do you have any plans to acquire a whitelist spot of those projects with uh, with whom you are partnered with for your uh, top investors or for uh, giving them to your investors who votes voted on the project um do you mean whitelist spots for our pre-sale tomorrow? Because if that, yes, it is uh, no, no, no. what we're doing. No, no. I'm saying uh, that you also have plans for partnership with uh, selected projects, right? Mm hmm Yeah, OK. Uh, you have plans for partnerships with selected projects who can also promote Arctic. So I want to know that uh, will you guys have any plan to acquire whitelist spots of those projects who are partnered um, with your project to to give it to your holders all right all right all right yeah i got it uh no for now we we haven't planned that uh no but it's an idea thank you yeah okay great and um, i think uh, arctic finance is basically a potential project uh, hunting platform i think if you get a potential project then you might have plans to invest in that project too yeah, if so, if so, then I want to know, do you have a wallet reserved for the Arctic Finance from which you can invest in those potential projects and to add these profits in either a liquidity pool or for marketing or for rewarding the community? <laughs> so do you have any kind of plan like this? Uh, we were thinking about it, uh, obviously, in uh, later phases. Uh, because at the end, yeah, it's going to be uh, an hub of all of these projects uh, where we hunt for them. Uh, and um, we might even invest directly with our own wallets uh, to the best of them. Yeah. But it's a plan for the future. OK, so you, uh, so you want to um, buy those uh, or invest in those projects with Arctic tokens? Um, yes, we could. Yes. But as I said, for now, it's not part of any plan. For now, the investment that we do comes from the transaction fee. Okay, and uh, as as you have plans to reward your community, uh, can you hear me? And uh, now yes, now yes. Just oh, okay, okay. Minute. Yeah, yeah. I think it's my TJ. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I was saying that as you have plans to reward your community for uh, with the tokens of winning project. Uh, I want to know that uh, will you buy those tokens with Arctic tokens or that winning project is going to send you these tokens to reward your community if it's partnered with you? Uh, look, at the moment, the way it works uh, from the transaction fee, we swap uh, the fee in BUSD and at the end of the week, we swap BUSD to the tokens of the project. But for future, uh, for what you mean, I guess, uh, we still don't know because it's not even mm, planned in any of our phases. Mm, we will see how to act on that. Okay, great. I see you guys have uh, really good plans for your project. So thank you so much and good, uh, God bless you. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to Asia. You have a question for Brett to Finance. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Glenn. I have a few questions. Okay, first, I want to know that um, Arctic Finance will be offering live EMA services. I want to know that 
the only projects which have partnership with Arctic will be allowed to avail AMA service or any project will be able to have AMA with Arctic Finance? No, only the projects that are going to be listed on our platform uh, will be able to do AMA um, with us all together, these AMA battles um, for free, so they can uh, promote themselves even more. Okay, got it. Okay, on your white paper, I have read that uh, you will be providing social media banners, social media videos to the listed project. I want to know that do listed projects have to pay extra fee for these services? No, 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 no. no. We do that uh, for free. And uh, we also promote uh, this banner for them. Okay, that's great. Okay, on your roadmap, I've read about GameFi experience. So I was wondering, are you planning on developing your own game in future? No, as GameFi experience, uh, we mean um, we might even open a section of a platform uh, where uh, um, instead of rewarding uh, every holders, we can reward only the holders who have voted for the project who won the competition, or maybe. Uh, once we have the NFT involved, uh, to reward only one winner uh, um, games in this kind of way, in not real video games. Uh, so gamify experience, that's what we mean. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, just to be clear, transaction tax, which is 10%, will be accumulated in BUSD. And then 6% of this BUSD will be used to buy voted projects? Yes, clear, correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering. You're welcome. And we've got Austin here. Austin, you had a question for Brex. Go ahead. Austin? Yeah, hello, everyone. Hi. Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi. So I have a question actually. So I'm a little investor. So you're breaking up. Uh, I have not uh, so yes. much money. So if I want to invest your project, may I get access or I need more money for that? Uh you broke a little bit. Uh, I, I, I just got the last part. If you want so, to invest, you need more me? money. A bit better, yeah? Can you rephrase? Hello? Yeah, so uh, uh, my question was, as I have the little money, yeah. No, you, so, you're breaking up. Austin, sorry, yeah. I have to mute you. Um, we've had a lot of people join the AMA in the middle of um, this call. So, yeah, maybe Brex, if we can do a recap over the um, finance project and uh, what's planned for the future, that'd be great. All right. So, uh, recap. Uh, well, we like to call Arctic uh, a community driven investment protocol. What Arctic does, it's a platform uh, where we select the best projects after uh, the community vote for them to be selected and after we uh, research and make sure they're legit. And on Sonarctic, these projects, uh, um, our holders, uh, they will be able to vote for them uh, during the period of one week. At the end of every week, the project that gets more votes gets selected as the winner. Our protocol automatically buys its tokens and distribute them to our holders who have also voted during, during, during the weekly competition as airdrops. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have our pre-sale. It's um, whitelist spots first for the first two hours. Only who is whitelisted is going to be able to buy the token. And then after, it's going to be open to the public. There is a minimum purchase or 0 0.25 BNB and the maximum to 1.5 BNB. The way that we are able to do these airdrops and everything is because we tax 10% of every transaction. And of this 10%, we use uh, two for our marketing wallet. We will use marketing for ourselves and the project listed on our platform. And the rest is going to be swapped in BUSD 
and um, accumulated in our treasury for one week. At the end of the week, 2% is used to buy back and burn our token, and the 6% is going to be used to buy the tokens of the winner of the projects who won the competition and distribute them to our holders. In this way, we can uh, reduce the risk because you are exposed only to one token, Arctic, but receive every week new tokens of the projects that the community believe are the best ones. Great, Brett. And I was wondering why are you going to concentrate which blockchains are you going to mainly um, do votes for like BSD projects or Ethereum or some of the new, newer blockchains? Yes. Uh, we are starting with uh, Binance as a blockchain, Binance Smart Chain, because the ecosystem is uh, pretty big and the fee are low. Um, after that, we want to expand to other chains. So we're thinking Avalanche. We are thinking also to bridge to Polygon. And uh, hopefully, if Ethereum 2.0 comes out and the fees are low, uh, we will go to Ethereum as well. Awesome. Well, it's been great speaking to you today, Frank. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with the marketing ideas, you know, because you're going into other projects which can create new investors for Arctic Finance, and you've already built up 4,800 plus uh, community members in the Telegram. That's great. Um, so I'm looking forward. Did you say it'll be 24 hours after the uh, thing finishes you'll be launched, or was it seven days, did you say? I wasn't sure there. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow pre-sale and then we will launch the 3rd of April. So basically after uh, six days, next Sunday, the platform is going to be online and the token listed and everything. And um, thanks for mentioning the members of our group uh, and the, um, also the page on Twitter. Uh, the thing is, um, they come because also they are from other communities, from other projects. Uh, we, with, uh, with this mechanism that people can vote for the favorite project, uh, we leverage the communities of other projects as well. Um, so the social reach is really exponential. Have you already started the voting feature then um, as a trial run now, or are you going to start on the first day of mm, We're going to start what, sorry? Because you're breaking up a bit. You start the voting feature already, or is yeah. that going to start on the first day of launch? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's going to start uh, the day of launch. So the 3rd of April, uh, people will be already able to vote. And um, after the first week, uh, they will already receive uh, the red drop. So whoever is going to participate to our pre-sale, uh, after the first week of launch, uh, they will get their uh, tokens uh, drop to their wallet. Uh, same thing for whoever participated to our private sale before. Okay, awesome. Um, well, we always say anyone listening back to the recording, we can get you safely over to the Arctic Finance official Telegram. Uh, it's in, in there, uh, the website and the official Telegram in our main chat or up here. Uh, do, do you have the VC open sometimes to talk to investors? Next? Telegram. Uh, yeah, sometimes we do some um, some AMA actually, yeah, internal AMA. So yeah, we can talk directly with investors. Uh, and in the coming weeks, uh, we're going to do this much more often, obviously. Great. Well, thanks so much for coming today, Brex, uh, from the Arctic Finance Project. I'm uh, looking forward to the future and pre-sales tomorrow um, on pink sales. So if any investors want to get involved, uh, Head over there. Yeah, uh, it's been really, really an interesting project for our investors at WorldCoin Talk. Thank you very much for coming today, Brex. Thank you for hosting us. Thank you, guys. Have a good weekend. We've got Spin Wheel and now we'll finished the recording, so a copy of a few to show your community, Brex, as well. I'll put that in the show chat. Um, is it actually or the Dizzle today doing Spin the Wheel? Yeah, I can I can do the spin. Just give me a second here. I'll okay. share uh, share the big wheel with with everybody and we'll spin for for two lucky winners. I'm I'm just setting it up now, guys. Just a second. <laughs> 